Here's a list of nine people who have inherited massive fortunes that have made them some of the wealthiest people on the planet. From the science of global retail and real estate empires to those born into families of business magnates and aristocrats. Get ready to be amazed by the sheer opulence of these lucky individuals who have it all thanks to the legacies of their wealthy forebears. This video is presented by Highbrow Talks. At number 9, we have Lorene Powell Jobs. She's the wife of Steve Jobs. Lorene Powell Jobs inherited her fortune mostly through shares of Walt Disney and Apple from her late husband Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, who died in 2011. Powell Jobs is the founder and president of the Emerson Collective, a grant-making and impact investing firm. According to Forbes, she's estimated to be worth over $12.6 billion. Ranked at number 8, Lucas Walton belongs to the prominent Walton family who owns the renowned retail enterprise, Walmart. Lucas inherited a share of his fortune from his grandfather, Sam Walton, who established Walmart in 1962. Following Sam's passing in 1992, his wealth was distributed among his heirs, including Lucas. Presently, in 2023, Lucas Walton's net worth is estimated to exceed $21.7 billion, positioning him as the 72nd wealthiest individual globally. At number 7, we have Jacqueline Mars from the Mars family. Mars Incorporated is one of the largest privately held companies in the world and is known for its popular candy brands, including M&M's, Snickers, and Twix. Jacqueline Mars is an American heiress and businesswoman who inherited a portion of her wealth from her family's candy company. As of 2023, Jacqueline Mars is estimated to have a net worth of over $38 billion. At number 6, we have John Mars, who is also from the Mars family. John Franklin Mars is an American businessman, an heir of Mars Incorporated. He is the chairman of Mars, and according to Forbes, he has an estimated net worth of $38.3 billion, ranking him as the 32nd richest person in the world. At number 5, we have David Hamilton Koch from the Koch Industries. He was an American businessman, political activist, philanthropist, and chemical engineer. In 1970, he joined the family business Koch Industries, the second largest privately held company in the United States. He was estimated to have net worth of over $50 billion before he passed away in 2019. Ranking at number 4 on the list, we have Charles Koch from the Koch family. Charles Koch is an American businessman, philanthropist, and political activist. He is the co-owner, chairman of the board, and CEO of Koch Industries, which is the second largest privately held company in the United States. Coke Industries is involved in various industries, including petroleum refining, chemicals, energy, and more. Charles Coke has been actively involved in political and social causes. He is also known for his philanthropic contributions to various causes, including education and criminal justice reform. Coke has authored several books, including The Science of Success and Good Profit. As of January 2023, he was ranked as the 19th richest person in the world on Forbes Index, with an estimated net worth of over $59 billion. Number 3 on our list is shared by Alice Walton and Rob Walton from the Walton family. Alice Louise Walton is an American heiress to the fortune of Walmart. In September 2016, she owned over $11 billion in Walmart shares. As of March 2023, Alice Walton has a net worth of over $63 billion according to Bloomberg, and Forbes estimated her net worth at $58.8 billion. Nevertheless, she is the second richest woman in the world. And her brother, Samuel Robson Walton is an American billionaire heir to the fortune of Walmart, the world's largest retailer. He is the eldest son of Helen Walton and Sam Walton and was chairman of Walmart from 1992 to 2015. According to Forbes, 
Rob Walton has a net worth of around $59.7 billion, making him the 18th richest person in the world. At number 2 we have Jim Walton of the Walton family. James Carr Walton is an American businessman, currently the heir to the fortune of Walmart, the world's largest retailer. Walmart is an American multinational retail corporation that was founded in 1962 by Sam Walton. It is currently the world's largest retailer, with over 11,000 stores and clubs in 27 countries, and employs more than 2.3 million people globally. According to Forbes, Walton is the 17th richest person in the world, with a net worth of over $61 billion. It is necessary to note that, it is difficult to determine the richest inheritance in the Arab countries, as the wealth and assets are often kept private and not disclosed to the public. However, some of the wealthiest families are the Al Nayan family of Abu Dhabi, the Al Maktoum family of Dubai, the Al Saud family, who are the rulers of Saudi Arabia, the Al Thani family, the ruling family of Qatar and few other families. It is believed that these families are worth trillions of dollars and have generational wealth. Moving on to the next on the list. At number one, we have Francoise Betancourt Myers. She's from the Betancourt family, which is one of the wealthiest families in the world. This wealth is primarily derived from their ownership of L'Oreal. Francoise Betancourt Myers is the heiress of the L'Oreal Cosmetics Fortune, which was founded by her grandfather Eugene Schuller in 1907. She has now inherited the company. She was named by Forbes as the world's richest woman and the 11th richest person overall, with an estimated net worth of $87 billion. So what do you guys think about these people and how lucky they are to inherit millions and billions of dollars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Please like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.